Hello to the YouTubes and things. Uh, we're going to play a little bit more of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I don't remember what we're doing, as always, but <laughs> I think we're just doing random quests. I don't think we have any, like, specific current goal in mind other than we need to get stronger so that we don't, like, insta-die when exploring the Red Mountain area. So, more or less, I, I think that's it. That's kind of the goal. That's kind of what we're working toward. The game seems to be running like shit at the moment. <laughs> it does that sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't cause too much of an issue. If it does, we can always restart, of course, but Greetings. we'll see. Greetings to you. Uh, Do you mind telling me who you are? Because <laughs> I don't remember. Randy asked me to meet a Lariana Macrina at the ruins. Oh... We're exploring these ruins, I think. They're like right here or whatever. What is this? Is that like a gem in the side of anyways? Okay, yeah, I think like she's supposed to be going in with us. But I had decided that if we just left her out here, it would probably be better for us. Because then she can't die <laughs> if she's not in here. So I think that was more or less kind of what we were thinking. The Daedric Taunt, didn't we get like a decent weapon? Was it the Daedric Taunt 9 to 20? Yeah, okay. It's just not like fancy. And it like it's not magical or whatever, but so it's not necessarily great for specters and things. But we don't have to summon it, which is a big boon. Might as well fix all of our shit real quick. <laughs> my favorite thing in the game, 100%, is just smacking glass shields with hammers until they're fixed. There we go. Perfect. All of our stuff's back to full. Um, getting a quick save before we get into anything here. Oh shit, that's not- <laughs> I've been playing a little bit of Skyrim, um, so it's gonna- it's gonna take me a second. I try to hold right click to, you know, to block, and that's not what you do here. It doesn't work that way in this game. As far as I'm aware, there is no actual block in this game. It just, you just do it, you know, kind of by having it equipped. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta pray to the RNG gods that everything goes in your favor. Um, Are you a thing? You're a thing, okay. Okay, well, thankfully, these creatures seem like pretty easy to beat. I was expecting more trouble from them. Again, probably because I've been playing Skyrim lately, but... Not... Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. But I just explored some of the Dwemer Ruins in Skyrim. I forget the actual, like, name of the ones I explored. But, oh, uh, that was dumb. It even popped up and said trap. Anyways, <laughs> but they were, like, much more deadly. The, the Dwemer artifact creatures, whatever you want to call them. The Centurions and whatnot. Than they seem to be in this game. At least at this point. There's always a chance that they'll get much worse, I suppose. Okay, we should probably also switch to local map. Make it a lot easier for us to explore here. Looks like dead end here. Or dead ends. Uh, is this a dead end? Is this mineable? It is. Raw glass. Let's go. We've discovered that raw glass is actually quite valuable. So I certainly don't mind having some of that in my inventory. Wish we had a little bit of like ranged anything to deal with these guys. Honey, though, like with playing Skyrim lately, it's aged a lot more than I thought it did. <laughs> it's still really, really good. Don't get me wrong. But it, it has aged more than I would have thought. I mean, it is like 10 years old or whatever, you know? It is actually an old game at this point, but still. It's a ton of fun, don't get me wrong. But like, damn, dude. 
without mods that even I forgot how bad the menus were in the game without mods. It's bad. But thankfully we have mods, so it's okay. Okay, this scrap metal is heavy as hell, so even though it's like an ingredient and generally we keep ingredients, I'm gonna toss it for now, cause holy shit. 10 pounds per ingredient is just too much. Apparently we already have a bunch of crap that's like heavy. I'm assuming we just couldn't find anyone to sell this stuff to. Or we just collected it recently and I forgot <laughs> to get rid of it. But like, the value to weight ratio is pretty good on this stuff. Like 100 to 1 or more. <laughs> so I definitely don't want to get rid of it. Are you going to be trapped or are you fine? You're not a thing, you look like a thing. No, you're fine. Um, are you gonna be a little harder? You look bigger. Okay, you're not that bad. You definitely deal a bit more damage than your, your counterparts, but you're not, like, terrible, Mr. Centurion. What is this? Is this a shield? Bone mold shield, yeah, I think our glass tower shield does a little bit better job, though. Now, what were we in here for? <laughs> Master armor's hammer, okay, we'll take that. Fortify luck, that's pretty decent. Seat them are quag, cog. Go left gauntlet, nah, that can stay. Yeah, this is trapped, I figured it would be. A lot of trap chests in this game. We'll get it eventually. There is no, like, trap disarmament skill. <laughs> it's either you can or you can't, as far as I can tell. No, we'll leave that. Door key could come in handy. More hammers to beat my glass shields with. I like it. Scroll of healing, that's nice. More health, always good. Are you raw ebony? Drain attribute agility. It's weird how, like, these metals and things are also... Alchemy ingredients. That doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but... I'll accept it. Wrapped. We know what to do. Probe it! Oh, I think we... <laughs> I think we triggered someone. <laughs> um... Oh, it's also lock level 60. Holy shit. Well, I think we have a spell that'll let us get through if our skill alone isn't enough. But seeing as how each side is trapped individually, I feel like we should just disarm both traps. If the game wants to be kind. Thank you. And lockpicks. Lockpick. Lock too complex. This may be the door that we've got the key for. It is. Oh, you're an alligator, dude. You're the guy that, like, murdered us. Or the type of guy that murdered us out in the, the Red Mountain area. You are, like, evil. Thankfully, we're, like, dealing with you okay here, but... I don't know if you're just, like, a lower level one or what. I didn't expect to see you guys around here, though. Daedra skin's very valuable, and the hearts. We'll take all of that. Please and thank. It was this everything? A lot shorter of a ruin than I was expecting if it is. Fancy crystals. Mm, 30 to 1,050? Oh, is there anything I can leave behind? <laughs> Um, not really. I'm not sure what's eating up all of our weight. We're obviously carrying something that's, what? Did I take everything? God darn it. Uh, put you back. I don't want you. Thank you. I do want the diamond, though. That's not going to put us over, right? Oh. 
Oh, darn, man. All these... <laughs> all these ingredients are going to be rough. I can't even... <laughs> I can't get to it. Okay. We have to drop something. Or... We can just eat some stuff and hope for the best. Things that are, like, super cheap. Like, Quama Cuddle? Eat it. Some, <laughs> I don't think we should eat the diamond. Racer plumes aren't bad. Marshmallow we actually do want to keep for the, whatchamacallit, for the health potions. War hide though, we can eat that. We're getting nothing but like bad effects from any of this stuff. I still love that eating raw glass drains intelligence. I mean, I mean it makes sense. But, <laughs> but I just love the idea of that. Do these things have weight? They do, it's actually like 0.2 per scroll. So this is adding up a lot. We should probably, like next time we're in town, go through some of our scrolls and get rid of some. Because we definitely don't need to carry this many of them. Like we have some that... Like the second barrier, don't we have a normal spell that gives a shield just as an example? Steel keg, we will leave all that. We'll take the frost salts. We will definitely open this chest and hope for something good. Uh. Oh, first try, dude. Let's go. Raw ebony, good. Coins, good. Uh, the raw ebony was probably heavy. <laughs> Ten pounds, yeah. Um. Okay. So it has a weight to value of 20. So even though I really like the raw ebony, the other stuff we have is a lot better. Yeah, it's very heavy for its weight. And it's not like I know how to craft anything, so it's more or less useless to us other than the money that we get from it. We'll leave the axe. Yeah, yeah. Pick the diamonds. All the diamonds, please. And I think that's it. Hey, well, I guess we can let that lady in now, like, have her come in with us, because the place is surprisingly empty. I thought there were, again, I expected there to be, like, a lot more to it than this. Normally, whenever we get into some ruins, it's, you know, a bitch and a half to get through, but no, this was, this was pretty tame. Very reasonable watch she comes in and then like exposes there's a whole another section of it wait what oh so she doesn't actually need to come in with us was that the the day draw to us to a report back to rundy oh okay <laughs> So she didn't need to come in with us at all. That makes it even easier, I guess. So now we can just go back to Frundy, who is a person somewhere. Frundy asked me to meet her. Uh, the Seven Curses. Is it a quest that we have, maybe? Lele, hello. Okay, so it's the Fighters Guild. Just redeemed hydrate. Ate way too much sp sp spaghetti. <laughs> I can't fucking... I can't talk. My nose is stuffed. I'm tired as fuck. I'm dying. Uh, anyways, okay. <laughs> Ate way too much spaghetti. <laughs> is what I was trying to say. My tummy hurts a little bit. <laughs> Just here to hydrate? You're always just here to hydrate. What are you talking about? It'd be more weird if you were here for anything else. <laughs> Have a good night, Lily. Thank you for coming out, man. <laughs> My posture's fine. Go away, you. <laughs> Lele attack just redeemed posture check. Oh my god. <laughs> you stretch. Oh, fine. Be nice to her. You be nice to her. Lele You're the one always mean to her. Stretch. Not helping my full belly stretching out like this. <laughs> I 
My belly's too full to stretch. Oh, man. Oh. Before I forget, by the way, this has nothing to do with you, Lily. Feel free to go to bed and have a good night, man. Thank you for stopping in. Um, as you guys may or may not know, my birthday is in roughly a week. Um, Noodle and I will be going away for like four days. Roughly, we'll be leaving town. Um, so there will probably be a break in some of the streams for, because of that. God damn it, why am I over encumbered? We must have had a strength increase from eating meat or something. So I have to drop some more stuff. Anyways, point is, uh, but I still plan on streaming on the days that I'm home. I'll be gone, I think it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'll be back Friday. So I'll check with OptiJack to see if he wants to do Baldur's Gate on Friday instead of Thursday. That's up to him. But other than that, next week, I'm just going to stream basically whatever the hell I want. So from Friday next week until Friday the week after, um, I still plan on streaming, but it's not necessarily going to be to schedule or anything like that. Just whenever I have time and whatever the hell I feel like playing sort of deal because, I don't know, it's my vacation, it's my birthday, and I feel like that's reasonable. <laughs> I'm just gonna... <laughs> Honestly, it's probably gonna be a lot of this game called Software Inc. because that's what I've been wanting to play. And then I'm currently playing through Skyrim on my own, so maybe a tiny bit of Skyrim. Although, I don't know if that's like... I don't know if I want to do that or not. <laughs> just because, like, I feel like it would be weird, you know, playing a little bit of Skyrim without actually like playing through it. Oh my God, all these books and things are taking up a lot of weight too and notes and all this. Okay, we need to get rid of like so much shit, man. Tell you what. Uh, the hammer only weighs like three, but fix all our shit again. Okay, so that probably got rid of like a couple pounds, right? Yeah, we're down to 477. That actually got rid of a decent amount. And then if we take a drink, I think that got rid of a little bit of weight, maybe. And then, did we pick up any more cheap? We have a bunch of hound meat. It's uncooked though, which is annoying. And rat meat. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to eat that. I don't want to eat the rubies and things. Do we have like a fortify strength or anything? Apparently not. Okay, well, I guess we just have to drop something and accept it. This, the Orcish Left Pauldron. Pretty sure that's the like worst in terms of weight to everything ratio, so I'm just gonna have to drop that. And then when we get back to town, we'll sell a bunch of shit. We're just gonna sell like gear first, stuff that we don't really care about. The books and things that it seems like we might end up needing again later, I'm going to try and wait until we get back to, like, one of my normal towns to sell that stuff, because, yeah. Oh, you're a bastard. Why can I not hit you? Just please die. That is the single reason why I can't wait to get to Skyrim, man. More than anything else, it's just not having to rely on RNG for stuff to hit or not hit or whatever. Is such a big thing, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't wait for things to just hit whenever I hit stuff. 100%, the most exciting part. I can't remember how Oblivion works. I've only... Have I launched Oblivion before? I think I've launched Oblivion before. I know I've never played much of it, though. Why did it sound like a door opened? Like a stone door opened. There's something on the other side of these rocks here? No? Looks empty. I don't know. I won't worry about it much. It's fine, I'm sure. Ooh, more hound meat. Hey, block skill increase. Sick. Good. Hopefully we'll block more. 
Lighted night? Uh, Nick sound? Sure. Can always use more meat. I wonder how much. Um, it probably weighs the same. That's one of the things in Skyrim that I always found really weird is whenever you use something in a uh, in a recipe, sometimes it'll get heavier. And it's like, how does cooking this food or melting this iron and shaping it into a dagger or something make it heavier? <laughs> like, there should be some sort of code there that's just like, take the... Like as a to to check, you know, like take the take the weight of all of the ingredients added up to make this thing, and make sure that the final thing is never heavier than it's the sum of its parts. I don't know if it ever happens with like normal crafting recipes, but I know it does happen with cooking sometimes, and I guess maybe you could say like it's being used for, or the extra weight's coming from like the water that you're putting in it or something like that maybe, but. I don't know, man. Oh, cool. The cooked meat is lighter. Wait, five. So we can save a decent amount of weight just by finally cooking all this meat slowly, one at a time, because that's all this mod offers, sadly. Whenever we get around to doing our permadeath runs, I really hope the other survival mod... I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but the one that I was initially using before switching to open Morwen. I really hope that it's uh, fully working in open Morwen. Because just the way you cook, the extra options you have for like building and crafting different camping gear and stuff like that is just, it's really nice. It's not only immersive, but also just this whole menu is kind of meh. But it's more or less necessary. Uh, meat, rat. Just cook all of the meat we have, please. Uh, restart fire. I don't think we've ever had a fire go out on us before. Didn't even realize that was an option. It's weird, though, because, like... It doesn't matter <laughs> in this game. <laughs> like, with this mod, you know? Like, you don't use firewood or anything to make the fire. So it's weird that that's something you have to can manage. The fire going out. Oh, not water catcher. Water jug. Uh, that should be everything good. What was this? Have we been in here? We probably shouldn't fuck with it. Let's just go. Let's just go. That's <laughs> that's it. Let's just go. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, I guess I'm going berserk. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Nate, hello, sir. How you doing tonight, man? I hope all is well in the land of Nate. All healed up. Very nice. It's going. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> it doesn't really sound like things are going well, which I'm sorry about, but <laughs> but I'm glad things didn't stop going. That would be even worse, right? Like <laughs> if things weren't going. Did we come across these stepping stones last time. Are these even stepping stones? They're a little big for it. Hopping stones. <laughs> I think it's the Wolverine Hall we're going to. I'm pretty sure that's where the Fighter's Guild was that we got this quest from. Not bad, not good, just like in between. So, it's going. <laughs> I get it, man. I'm here for it. I understand. Come on, bro. Come on, get up. Bro, did the game... <laughs> did it bug? I'm used to falling, but like, holy shit, game. Okay, um, what, do we have, <laughs> bro, <laughs> do we have, like, anything that restores stamina? Fortify magic, light, endurance, restore fatigue. There we go. <laughs> I think there was some sort of, like, I don't know, I feel like our, our stamina was constantly... 
Bro, I just heard a door open again. I think the game's bugged. Anyways, <laughs> I think our stamina was constantly draining, which was keeping us at zero, which was stopping us from getting up. I think is what was happening there. That's scary. Every time we start to like fall down the side of a mountain like that, I get worried. Oh, hello. You're dead. Oh, bone meal's nice. What is this? Ancestral tomb? Yeah, definitely staying out of the ancestral tombs. They're never good for us. You can get some interesting stuff in them, but like... Also just die. What was that flying off in the distance over there? That looked a lot bigger than like a racer plume. Are there secretly dragons flying around here or something? Like, I don't know. I guess maybe they were razor plumes. They just looked really big. Also, here's a ship. Anything cool in this ship? Oh, hi, fur people. Is there another one somewhere? Bro. I hear you. Can't see shit under here. Is there like a chest or anything? Is there an opening like on the side of the ship? No. There's gotta be something here, right? They wouldn't just put a sunken ship with nothing in it. Or around it. Huh. Oh, maybe they would. <laughs> I mean, I'm not seeing anything, so I have to assume it's just empty. Oh, I am, like, completely out of stamina. Thankfully, the racer plumes are stupid as hell, so, like, it's fine. I saw one of the, like, top mods for Morrowind where it's, uh, racer plumes no longer being, like, automatically aggroed against the player. Because they just kind of are annoying <laughs> after the beginning of the game. And I, I briefly just, uh, considered installing it, but I was like, honestly, they're just a minor annoyance, you know? They're so easy to kill at this point in the game, it's really not a big deal. Just kind of always wondering why there's battle music playing out of nowhere. Oh, we're cold. We should probably try to get... To the Wolverine Hall soon. Oh shit, that's not. <laughs> oh god, that's not what I want to do. I wasn't trying to fish the razor plume, drag them down with my fishing pole, you know? Well, the Wolverine Hall is not far, so I don't think we're gonna like freeze to death before we get over there. Although, with that said, we are very cold and we do have to take another dip in the water here. But who knows? Maybe we will freeze to death. <laughs> it won't be the first time, sadly. <laughs> yeah, you're garbage. How much farther? Is that it? I think that's it. Can I, like, crawl inside one of these things for warmth? Like in, uh, Star Wars, you know? Just cut open its belly, crawl inside, chill for a little bit. Or not chill, I guess is the plan. <laughs> oh. We move so slowly whenever we're not running. You're dead. Good job. Could have lived, but nope. Had a fuck with me. I 
understand building your city near the water, but why would you build your city, like, in the middle of it all? Without so much as a bridge or anything connecting you to the land, to the mainland. I guess if your whole lifestyle is heavily connected to boats, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But I'm just sitting here thinking, like, man, this has to be a massive pain in the ass for anybody that's not a boat user. Although at the same time, I guess they have, you know, whole houses that presume you just happen to know levitation magic. Otherwise, you're just shit out of luck. So, boats are the least of this, uh, this world's problem. Surely they have a shop or two in the Wolverine Hall, right? I would really, really like to unload some stuff. Might take a nap first, just because it is getting kind of late in game. You are freezing. Find shelter quickly or you will perish. Excellent! That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Literally freezing to death. Um, okay. Well, we're close. It's right there, man. Thankfully, our health hasn't started going down yet. And if it does, we do have, like, some healing magic and stuff. I don't think the mod that makes us freeze <clears throat> works with the, the mod that lets us build cooking fires. It might work with the mod with the other fires that we can make, the ones that don't let us cook, but that's, like, not particularly useful to us, so I don't usually carry around that kind of wood. Exposure increasing. Look, we're in town now. Is this a corner club? Yes. There you go. All better, man. Nice and toasty in here. What do you buy? Do you just buy arrows and crap, or do you buy... Other stuff as well. Like ingredients? You do. You have very little money though. Um uh, anything like buy expensive amulet, you will. This stuff's way too expensive for you, I feel like. We don't want any of the crap you have, no. So you like random stuff then. 305, that's pretty close. Offer. You don't do any sort of training, so I can't get the money from you that way. So goodbye. Do you happen to buy stuff too? You do, and you do offer training, but do you only buy garbage? Buy notes. But I'm never going to remember this is where I left all my notes. <laughs> if I sell them to him, all my notes and, and books and stuff. So I don't think we're going to sell it to him. Do you buy scrolls? Okay, those we could sell. Uh, damage attribute agility. Okay, I gotta sell that. Visibility could come in handy. Speed, I mean, probably could come in handy, but it's fine. Elemental burst stuff. Blind on target? Okay. Gem feeder would be sick. But, am I ever actually going to use it? Probably not. With that said, he's almost out of gold, I just realized. He only has like 11 left. Uh, so, do we have anything super cheap? Nope. That's opening locks. That's too good to leave. Fire damage. That's definitely going to put you over. Only by nine, though. So, yeah, that's fine. I will sell you those scrolls, sir. Goodbye. <coughs> hey, what kind of training do you do? Speechcraft, which actually wouldn't be terrible. Neither would athletics. Uh, you can't teach me anything more. Um, Sure, teach me about speechcraft a little bit. 
da, 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 training. What is our current speechcraft level? 24. Let's go up to 25. And then we'll sell you some stuff again. And then whether, like... We get to sell everything or not, or get all of our gold back, rather, like, who cares? Just having, being a little bit better at talking to people would be, would be handy here. The shock, we'll get rid of it. Scorcher's fine. Rally humanoids? Meh. Detect enchantment? Nah, it's fine. We don't need it. Scroll the ninth barrier. That's pretty good. Poison zero to five points for 20 seconds on self, though. That I didn't notice. So we're immune to disease, but not to poisons. How much would you give me for it? Not a ton, but... Get rid of the scroll. I definitely want to keep Hop Toad. Store health and all that crap. What is this? A bunch of scroll of unhinging. Psychic prison. Get rid of it. Mm, cure diseases, but also cures health. Absorb willpower. That's kind of neat, but I'll sell it. Teals, that's locks. Mm. Lockjaw could be good if we come up against a mage. We need to make space, though. We have too much crab. Telekinesis, I'm keeping. Frost damage, get rid of. Acrobatics 100. Oh, that's a, <laughs> that's the Icarian Flight. Icarian Flight. Whatever the fuck it's called. We'll keep that. Sell that. Uh, sell the gem feeder. Keep that. Okay. Okay, 752. So we got most of the gold back. What's up, Ace? Scroll of Unhinging sounds like it could either be an unlock spell or an insanity spell. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. If we ever get around to making our own scrolls, <laughs> maybe we'll make our own scrolls of unhinging. Because... <laughs> Medium armor. No, we don't need any of that. I only have a few moments. Barter, perfect. You do not barter, okay. Not with me, because I'm not a member. Ask a commoner. Hey, look at that. Spell training. Nah, I don't think we need any of that training. Do you have rooms by any chance? Me. Uh, no, not here. That's fine, though. Do you buy anything other than lockpicks? Doesn't seem like it. That's fine. Uh, you only have 50 gold anyway, so... Why not have it do both? <laughs> One spell that opens locks and makes everyone around you go insane. I like the way you think, my guy. <laughs> You train stuff I'm interested in, but you can't train my level, so... I think we're done with all these people. How are we doing? We're just hungry and thirsty. We're no longer cold at all, which is what we want to see. Um, so hopefully we don't, like, freeze to death. Probably dumb to eat right now, since we're looking for somewhere to sleep, but... Oh well. Why battle music? Wait, is it, is it that rat over there? <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that. It's fine. If that rat finds us and hunts us down, the it's fine. <laughs> I think we can deal. There you go. He gave up. Smart rat. Let's get this over with. Real shrine. Barter. Okay, so you probably buy ingredients then. You only have 250, though. Uh, pearl. All these racer plumes. Uh, scales, sure. Void salts, why not? We're too high. Take one void salt back. Pretty much perfect. Offer. Actually, while we're talking to you, though, do you sell, like, health potions? Bargain. We don't want bargain or cheap. We'll take your standard. 
And in turn, I can probably sell you, uh... Cross salts. Five, enter. Good. Goodbye. I don't remember where... the the fighter skill is i know there's one around here somewhere though i have nine of these probably i don't know six nope you take us too high pretty close do you have any restore health you do i will take them and i don't want the cheap though Holy shit, okay, no. The fire salts are worth a lot more than I thought they were. Take one of them back. Take two of them back. And maybe... Chalk resin. That's close enough for me. Yes? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I think the Mage's Guild is up here. Yeah, so maybe the Fighter's Guild will be just up higher? Or maybe down lower? Hope that, like, leaves or whatever. We found it before, I just cannot remember <laughs> where anything is. In general, but <laughs> especially in this game. I get lost so easily. Fighter's Guild, look at that. You train me in like anything that I care about? No. Anything I can do for you? Rundy, you're the one. Hey, I've been to the place. I heard Lariana was pleased with your work. Here's the 500 septums I owe you for this contract. Thank you. Uh, do you have? You won't barter with me. I'm not in a high enough rank. What do you have any more orders? Novor Drethen has hired us to help him take care of some problems at the Disopla Des Mine. Our client is Nover Dretham, the owner of the mine. Meet him inside the Disopla Mine, northeast of the Dunmer Stronghold, Fallen Serrano, which is on the mainland west of Tel Arun. <laughs> Do whatever Novor says needs doing. He says something about Nixhounds getting loose and attacking the miners. I mean, killing some Nixhounds is easy enough. I just certainly don't mind doing that. Getting here, I think, is going to be the hardest part. Uh, what can you tell me about Disopla Mine? Uh, you'll tell me the same thing I just asked. Okay, well, what can you tell me about the stronghold? Find it west of here. I'll mark it on your map. You. That's what I was hoping for. You've taken a few knocks. Maybe you should get healed. Uh, don't worry about me. I can heal myself just fun. Da, da, da. Okay. There's Fallen Sarno. And he said it was where compared to that? Human sign northeast. Okay. So it's like over here somewhere? Kind of annoying that he doesn't mark that on our map. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he can mark this, but not the the mine. So just in this general area over here, whatever. We can look up a map if we decide to. In the meantime, though, I just take a nap. Wash up before heading home. Holy shit, it's 5 a.m. Uh, Let's just take a really long nap, man. <laughs> See, we're not just napping. We're just kind of like chilling for a while, you know? We're relaxing. Yeah, of course we're hungry. We just, we zoned out so hard we forgot to eat for the past day. Really sucks you won't barter with me, man. It's fine, I guess. Um, training? Nothing. Yes. And I'm guessing since he won't sell to me, he probably won't train me either. Oh, he doesn't even have training as a as an option. Helms are noteworthy, but some questions your depth of devotion. Okay, so just have to do more jobs to to increase our rank. Anybody at the Mages Guild buy crap from me? The Imperial Shrine. The 
It's gonna suck if we get to this place and we can't like pick anything of value up. Because of like how much shit we're carrying on us right now. Do you buy apparel by any chance? I'd really like to get rid of one of these. You do! Okay, cool. Well, that's a little bit of weight. And we can sell you some more ingredients. Like, wait, for real? You don't buy ingredients? Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Do you buy potions? No. Seventeen hundred seventy-seven. What if we take this back? One thousand ninety-four. Wait, you buy coins? Okay. Well, if you buy coins, then take both of those back. Sell you. Actually, this is pretty heavy. One thousand and three. Ugh, that's still more than I kind of wanna lose on a sale, but I think we'll just accept it. Holy tower shield. Oh, that's an activation spell, though, not just a free one. All of these are. Uh... Yeah, no, okay. I'll just take your 800 gold, I suppose. Hmm, I wonder if we enchant something. Stealth, touch, target. Just once? Hmm. It'd be cool if we can make, like, a piece of armor that just increases our health in general. If I want to put it on this right gauntlet. Cast when used? So we can't change it. I don't have any soul gems anyway, so probably not even yes. possible. Dude, we could buy one from her, but meh. Did we talked to you already? I think we did. Ask a what you? Barter. You must buy ingredients. You're selling them at least. Seventy-eight. Uh ninety-six. Probably like one danger heart. Yeah. Bye. Only train members. You probably only train higher ranking members. Drain blood. Fancy, but no, I'm good on all that. Seems like a lot of people in this game don't have very much patience for anything, really. But especially questions from Outlanders. So wait, if that took us to, like, the roof, where does this go? The higher roof. Fair enough, I guess I don't know what else I expected. It's just when we were here, I didn't notice that. <laughs> I didn't notice that it kept going up behind us. So it's very confused on how we could go up any higher, but it turns out I'm just dumb. Big surprise, I know. So are there any more shops in this area? There's the corner club, of course, but no. Some houses. There's an inn, but the inn probably doesn't really buy anything. Nah, I guess not. Okay. Well, and we're just gonna go. Wait, there is a ship here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe I've just gotten here by teleportation only? I know the Mage's Guild has a teleporter. Or at least I'm fairly certain they do. But I thought they also had a, a ship guy. Guess not. Uh, looks like the, the guards must have taken care of the rat there. So fuck it. While we're running around, we'll just... If we happen to come across any towns, we'll take a, a short detour and see if we can't sell a couple more things. Please let me over the wall. 
Beast game. Oh, it's so close. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Piss something off. It's fine. They'll find me if they care. I'm going the wrong way, though, aren't I? I need to go north. Yeah, we actually want to go this way. wonder if we've cleared these ruins out over here. I mean, the only real reason to do it... I guess you can find the occasional decent thing of gear, but it's more or less just a loot for money. And our inventory space is practically full. And we just cleared everybody we could find of all of their money in the Wolverine Hall. So if anybody, like, runs out at us, then we'll deal with them. But otherwise, it's probably better just to ignore them. Like, we'll take care of that scamp there that's, like, right in front of us. If that one doesn't see us, then that's fine by me. Do you have any skin? No. You're skinless. So we don't want to go directly north. Oh, my mouse is connected. There we go. I want to go a little bit to the west. Actually, relatively quickly. Teleroon has some shops and things for sure. So that's where that one person that trains and barters is, I'm pretty sure. The one that I have marked as a trainer. Just don't remember if she buys like everything or if it's just magic ingredients or whatever. Hopefully it's a little bit of everything. We'll find out when we get there. Need to remember not to jump too much. Eat through all of our stamina too quickly. Oh, there's a boat. The big boat. This is part of... This is Sadrith Mora. Is there any... Oh, you're like practically part of the Wolverine Hall. Okay. Never mind. We can we can ignore all this for now. Though that's a very fancy house. Do you buy something? I don't see anything. It sounds like something's trying to attack us, but I'm sure it's fine. Ah, uh, that's the council house. We'll ignore them. We don't really care about the council. Not trying to get into politics right now. Here's the boat people I was thinking of. You guys take me anywhere interesting? Anywhere where I can sell my wares? We should have been a Khajiit, man, with how much we're always trying to sell shit. Oh, come on. Wonder where they go. Just beat the council and then there's no politics to care about? That's true, man. If only we were playing that kind of character. Firewatch Helnum Rog. Marog. Hurry this up, will you? Sometimes I wish we were playing like a either true neutral or like not lawful evil, I guess. <laughs> Neutral evil <laughs> character. It would be fun just to, to murder all of them. Um, I'm sure more one of these places buy stuff. What's this place called? Okay, you probably don't go there, though, because of how close it is, right? Yeah, no. I'll try to remember this boat's here in case that becomes handy for us, but... Oh. Okay, I am exhausted today, man. Still getting over my sickness. While I'm feeling much better than... Honestly, I'm feeling much better than I was even yesterday. But still still getting there, though. Not completely healed up. Go 
Gotta swim slowly, because <laughs> we have, like, no stamina. The last thing I want to do is have that falling animation take place, but while we're in water, that feels like a surefire way to just drown to death. Oh, speaking of drowning to death, I forgot to save after we rested, so I'm just going to do it now, because uh, it's fine. <laughs> It's, I made up the rules. I can bend them. <laughs> it's not like we really did anything since then anyways. We just ran around a little bit. And other than the small risk of drowning, I don't think we're in any other danger at the moment. Get down with the sickness? I'd rather get out with the sickness. Get the sickness out. Get to destroy the sick. I don't know, man. <laughs> Brain no works. Too tired. Too exhausted. Too sick. I want sickness to go away. I want this congestion to stop and for my head to work as much as it ever works at least. <laughs> Which isn't much, but it is something. I feel for you. I don't remember, did you get it yet, Nate? Nearly everybody that lives in my area has gotten it or probably will end up getting whatever the hell it is, so... <laughs> If you haven't already gotten it, then I do hope you don't, but, uh, good luck with that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, some sort of camp over here. Uh, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> At least in my friend group. I'm sure there are people that have went and gotten checked. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. But, uh, everybody that, like, I know that has gotten it, none of us have gone to the doctor. We've all just kind of dealt with it, so... But it started, for me at least, it started by feeling like the flu. And then quickly changed after like 24 to 36 hours changed into just like a really, really bad cold type feeling. You know, like the, the headaches, the body aches, the stuffy nose, congestion, coughing, all of that stuff. Not that you've noticed other than some bad sinus issues. That's more or less what Mr. Noodle had. Was just the sinus stuff. I didn't get, like, sick. Um, but I was very nauseous <laughs> for, a, like I said, somewhere between, like, 24 to 36 hours. Most of my friends who have gotten it, though, they've been sick, sick. Which does make me think that it could be the flu. Um, because Noodle and I both got the flu shot, but most of my friends haven't, so... Yeah. Took me out for three days, didn't leave my couch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Noodle Noodle was pretty rough there for a few days. But thankfully she's doing all better now. But yeah. Um, Oh, it's because I have text typed in here. I was like, where did all my stuff go? I know I had more crap than that to sew. <laughs> I think I'm too much of a shut-in. If I had the option, <laughs> I would gladly <laughs> be a shut-in. But <laughs> this stupid thing called work always makes me go out and be around sick people. Wait two. I mean, that's lower than what... Than what we have. Like, it would be a lower overall weight. Nordic troll bone shield? That's kind of neat. I do wish Skyrim would have kept more of, like, these unique items. Malu guard shield. Bone moan. I'm a rating 17. What's our... curse that we have right now? Hmm... 181. Never mind. <laughs> Not even close. Not even close. Okay, we'll take the hammer. And I guess we'll just eat the 200-ish gold loss. We're going to have to make some concessions anyways. Goodbye. Let's hear it. Currently coughing up a lung. See, and that's the thing. Like, I don't have much of the cough, thankfully. But another one of my friends from work, that's all she's been doing is... Like, she's been dying of coughing lately. <laughs> She's also currently on uh, medication that destroys her immune system, though, so may or may not be related to why <laughs> her cough refuses to stop or go away. Local. This one. Oh. Over here somewhere. 
This is the one we were just in, though, so it's not you. Ahead, stranger. Maybe she's like... Oh, you know what? She's probably up higher, actually, now that I think about it. So a kidney, then you can be a shut-in for like three years. The problem is, is after those three years, I have to like live again. <laughs> so, so like, you know, and it's much harder to get a job. I feel like whenever you go to the interview and they're like, so we see there's a gap in your uh, job history for the past three years. It's like, oh yeah, that I sold a kidney and decided to just stay at home for three years straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I don't think they like that too much. Shoot, you don't actually sell things. I thought you shouldn't be here. I thought you did both. Um I mean, we have a lot of gold. I'll take some more restoration skill just because I do want to be decent at restoration at least. 20 6500. I'll go down to 6000. Feel well rested? Huh? Does this count as sleeping every time we <laughs> train? Rue, hello! Once again, popping in before bed. My work schedule is settled now, though, so I'll be back soon. Hell yeah, man. If you don't mind me asking, what is your work schedule? Like, you working mornings, afternoons, nights? Hopefully not too early. I don't know about you, but mornings are the worst for me. 10 to 7, Sunday through Thursday? Not too bad, then. Nice, like, midday shift. Who's angry at me? Every time we walk outside, man, somebody's angry at me. It's probably somebody, like, halfway across the map slowly pathfinding their way to us. But it's like... <laughs> Is it you? No, it's definitely not you. You would be moving much quicker than that. Uh, whatever. Overtime is easy to get, but you still you should be able to watch him without having to go to bed too early. I think that should be like the last thing you worry about, but I really do appreciate it, man. <laughs> it's always nice having you stop in. Uh, heal. He heal. Cheap standard. I'll take your standard, and I'll sell you whatever BS I have. You have three hundred twenty-five gold. Um, I don't know, four, probably four, yeah. We're losing a decent bit on this deal. Do you have anything else decent that I care about? I wish there was like a, mar a minus, like a filter, I guess, is what I was trying to say. So I just want to get rid of all the like cheap and bargain stuff. Hmm, Night Eye would be nice just to, you know, be able to see better, but uh, not really, though. I mean, the Bug Musk helps get better prices from shops, but our problem right now isn't that we can't get decent prices from shops. It's that nobody has enough money for what we're trying to sell. Hey, Rue Brush. I didn't know you had your own brush in here. <laughs> Wickwe, you restore health. Fuck it, we'll take it. Okay. Uh, three twenty-five again. We're giving you a great Speak deal. Together. Of course, I gotta worry about it. It's <laughs> been ages, but yeah, you gotta get going to catch up on sleep night. Have a good night, Rue. I probably won't be on too too late myself. I am very tired. But I already skipped like most of last week due to being Speak sick. Kinda. So I didn't want to do more than I absolutely had to this week. Kind of want a loot. Can I play a loot? Got a silence? Nah. Expensive pants? I think I'll skip on the expensive pants. Uh, You have 400 gold. Maybe one of these things? That's 143 we're missing out on. I think we just have to accept that and move on with our lives. You have like, you didn't train, right? No. You have anybody else in here? No, this is just like your house. Hi, Rue Night Rue. Okay. I think we keep going. I don't think there's any 
shops we're really missing here. Been to the apothecary. Been to the smith, yeah. More or less, we've stopped everywhere. There is to stop around here. Continuing on this way. He didn't say anything about the camp that I remember, so probably don't need to go that far. I think once we hit the mainland, more or less, we're just going to turn west and then slowly work our way down towards the the area he actually told us, like, hey, this is an area that close to where you're trying to go. What's that glowing? Hmm. We have plenty of food, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think it's that valuable. No, it's not. You feel wet. I wonder why. Oh, hey, it's more people. Ow. Don't appreciate the gangbang friends. What is that? Why do you glow? Hey, we leveled up. Hell yeah. Uh, or well, when we sleep, we will. I'm surprised that's not like an ingredient that we can gather. I mean, like <laughs> having something glow like that, it really draws your eye to it. It seems like it would be something important, but no. As far as I can tell, it's nothing. You get up here now? Yeah. Thanks, game. Oh, God. It was a super easy quest, but I'm... Happy at the very least that we did complete one quest today. Still going to try to complete another, but... Considering we don't even know where we're going yet, it's seeming less and less likely. Slaughterfish, ignore you. We don't need your scales. I'm curious what these buildings are over here. We're going to check that out. See if it's an actual, like part of civilization or if it's just some bandits or some crap most likely bandits or some crap but still it's worth checking ooh marshmallow Whenever we get around to going back to our home, we can uh, try and make some more of our own health potions. Start building up our stock again. We used a ton of them during, I think it was the stream before last. Right next to salt trees, too. The game definitely does that on purpose. Grows these two next to each other. And I am not complaining about it. It's very good design. Much appreciated. Oh, no, you're definitely not, like, real civilization. This is 100% evil people land. I'm cold. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Okay, we can deal with that. Eat food. Drink, drink. Should have filled up drink while we were literally uh, uh, submerged in water, but didn't think about it. A wiki also is a restore health thing. I'm not going to collect literally all of it because I see there's much more behind us over there, but I'll grab all this crap that's like right here in front of us. That'll be handy. Oh, that looks like it could be some sort of real civilization, though. Over there. Yeah, this is definitely evil people, man. How evil are you people, though? Are you easy to deal with evil, or are you gonna kill me instantly evil? I 
Okay. Oh, no, 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 okay, well... You summon creatures that I'm gonna need magic to deal with. Oh, God. Oh, God, okay, our health is going down quick. <laughs> We're just gonna leave you guys alone. I apologize for my intrusion, friends. <laughs> you can keep doing whatever kind of fucked up worship or whatever you're doing over here. I want nothing to do with it. What is this place? Are you happy place? Are you bad, please? This is feeling suspiciously bad, please. I don't like these long hallways. I hear something walking around. Warm my hands by the fire? What, this fire? Yep, nope. <laughs> Bad place. <laughs> I, I, I knew it, man. I fucking knew it. As soon as we got in here, I was like, no. There's too many, like, long winding hallways for this to be a, a place of anything good. Oh, God, dude. Okay, there's too many things happening. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank God, okay. Oh, we're free! Uh, worshipper. You probably aren't worshiping, worshiping anything I care about. Rising force, though? I will take the levitate. Thank you. Daedroth, I'll take your heart because it's valuable. And that'll be it. Onward, I guess. I said, this is the point I think I said, yeah, I just want to kind of travel west now. And keep our eye open for anything civilization-esque. Uh, skin? Yeah, it's not worth as much as I thought it was. I think it, it must have been like Daedra skin or something that I was thinking of. Go ahead and keep healing while we're walking around. We're out of magic. We're out of magic. How is our stuff? I know there's some way to tell. Yeah, okay. So willpower's times three right now. Uh, so I don't think I'm in any hurry to sleep. If we could get our agility up a little bit more, we'd probably do like willpower, agility, speed. As our three tags... Surprisingly, we don't have, like, any bonuses in strength right now, but it's not that big of a deal. And there is wickwee all over the place around here, huh? Okay, there's some civilization. Are you good civilization? You bad civilization. You never know. I don't want to fight you guys. Or just you if you're alone. Just coming down to say hello. Okay, you're coughing. You're not attacking. I think you're safe. I'm just warming my hands by the fire. Are you willing to talk? Excuse me, I don't talk with people I don't like. Well... Fair enough, I guess. I mean, I don't, don't really have anything to say about that. Oh, restoring health. I didn't realize warming our hands restored our health. That's fancy. I guess that might be a reason to carry, like, firewood with us, but I don't know. Not when we can just, like, carry a sleeping bag and rest. Is our coldness going away? Okay, yeah, exposure decreasing rapidly. I just don't want to start freezing to death again while we're out here, because I don't know where the closest safe 
area is. <laughs> like, other than, I guess, this fire right here. This fire is kind of the safest place we found as far as the cold goes. Well, it's not decreasing that rapidly now, is it? Do we get too hot if we stand on the fire? <laughs> you are chilly. Well, <laughs> how are we ch We're literally standing in the fire. How are we chilly? We should be hot as hell. I think we just got that message because we are less chilly than we were. Or maybe we were cold before and now we're chilly. Come on, game. Remove the last status effect. We are very warm. Those are 35 out of zero. Wait, 35 out of zero? <laughs> I don't understand what these pop-ups mean. <laughs> okay, I give up. We're warm enough. Chugaba, hello, my guy. Hello. There is the camp. I don't know why the camp is marked on our map. Green? I don't own a copy of green, my guy. I'll gladly play green if you want to import a copy. <laughs> My level of uh, Japanese is very poor, <laughs> though, so, like, it's going to be a pretty rough playthrough, but we can give it a try. Why are you all wizards? <laughs> wizards that make funny sounds at that. <laughs> Let's go. Get fucked. I'll take your gold. Naughty Alistair hydrate. Just okay, Naughty Alistair. I will hydrate just for you, BB. You guys don't have shit. Oh, wait. Now, eggs? Really? And an empty pot. Cool. Okay. So, <laughs> just starts that in the game and loading is totally legal. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> huh, okay. What are we doing? We're looking for a place. What are we looking for? What's the name of it again? The Sopla Mine. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> that's still all we know. And that it's northeast of here. Since it's a mine, presumably it could be, like, in the side of any of these hills. Just an opening. Being a smartass and saying a random color. I knew what you were doing, my guy. I was being a smartass by pretending not to know what you were talking about. And taking you more literal. Beige? I guarantee somebody has made a ROM hack called Beige. That's got to be a thing that exists, man. I'd be more surprised if it wasn't. There's a door that seems a little too north to be the Disopla mine, but... Ooh, this could be it, though. Ow. Oh, it's a rat, bro. <laughs> Why is this rat kicking my ass? We are too late in the game to be getting our ass kicked by a rat. No, this is Polk. Whatever the hell Polk is. Some kind of civilization. Again. Vietnamese Pokemon Uranium. I know Uranium's a thing. Right? Like, that's a Pokemon ROM hack. Isn't that, like, a... A more popular Pokemon ROM hack? Okay, these are not friendlies, sadly. That's fine, especially if you're just gonna run up on me, then that makes my life a lot easier. Wizards are a lot harder to take uh, to deal with, I feel like, than you people. You sword users. Oh, hi, Shulk. I'll take your crap, thank you. I'm gonna let my crap refill a little bit. And then, I guess, deal with the rest of the people in this random camp here. I don't know why everybody around here is so damn aggressive, though. <laughs> like, 
I didn't do anything to you. Just chill a little bit, man. I'm literally just walking past. Why are you trying to murder me? That should be enough to deal with these guys. Vietnamese is real too. Very strange dubbing. <laughs> and here I've spent all this time thinking Vietnamese was fake, man. Like, just a made up language that I've seen on TV, you know? <laughs> Speaking of dubbings, uh, I don't know if anybody cares about solo leveling, but the first episode of the anime came out today, I believe. Oh shit, hi. I've read the uh, the books. I read the first edition of the manga. I think it was only the first that I've read. Um, but then I've read the first couple of the books. And it's, it's pretty good. I think there's some problems with pacing and whatnot. But other than that, it's pretty good. I'm excited to see what they'll do with the anime. Of what? Uh, solo leveling. The Korean... Like, what's it called in Korean? Manwa? Something like that? Oh, it's being made by Crunchyroll. The uh, first episode came out today. Today or yesterday? Recently, at least. Ooh, is that you? That could be you. This is kind of northeast, right? More east than north, but... Nope, that's an ancestral tomb. Okay, well, if we go here... To the place he pointed out, what is it? Fallen Serrano? Maybe there will be somebody there that will be able to guide me in the right direction. I don't even remember what Fallen Serrano is, though. It could be bad. <laughs> could be not so nice people. Because if it's that building there, then I feel like it's probably not going to be such nice people. So that looks like one of those evil places with the the what are they called <laughs> they look like teleportation pads or something but they don't do anything at least not yet this definitely looks like a bad place what was fallen serrano the dunmer stronghold Fallen Serrano, so yeah, probably not a good place. We'll walk over and take a look, but chances are we're going to get instantly attacked if there's anybody hanging out out here. Look up the Vietnamese Naruto. <laughs> is it that bad? <laughs> I mean, Naruto in general is pretty bad, so <laughs> it's a pretty low bar, man. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry to all the Naruto fans. <laughs> not really, though. Hey, it's not as bad as League of Legends. That's I really hate on the League of Legends fans. Naruto fans are okay, though. <laughs> yeah, so there's like... There's nobody here, but there's not going to be anything helpful here either, so... I'm just going to ignore it. We go there yet? This is, that's probably where we just came from, right? <laughs> Thank you for helping Nate finish his, his word. He struggles sometimes. Oh, no, here we go. Okay, the Disopla Mine. Perfect. Um, I want to save, so I'm going to drop a bed. We're probably starting to get tired anyways. Maybe a little unrealistic to be taking a, a nap right here in the middle of the road, but... Ah, oh, shit, I forgot I was trying not to level up yet. Uh, okay, well, we're not going to get our three points of agility that I wanted, but we can still get the three speed and the three willpower, which is pretty decent. It hurts me not to put any in strength, but we haven't been leveling our strength stuff that much, so... Is what it is. We should probably try to get our endurance up at some point for just more health and more maximum fatigue. But, I mean, willpower also gives us maximum fatigue, so I don't know. Whatever. We'll accept it. Naruto was decent. The filler was a little overkill, but you enjoyed it overall. The actual episodes of Naruto, for me, were okay. 
But that was the problem. The show as a whole for me was just okay, <laughs> right? And then the uh, sheer amount of filler mixed with it just kind of like killed any chance I had of actually enjoying the show. Bleach, on the other hand, while the filler was equally as garbage, I feel like there wasn't as much back. Oh, fuck. What's it called? Flashbacks. My brain is really dead today. I feel like there wasn't as many flashbacks that took up like half of an episode, um, which is another thing that I hated in Naruto. There definitely was a lot of filler, but I enjoyed... I enjoyed most of the Bleach filler more than I enjoyed the regular episodes of Naruto, is the thing, right? Like, both of them are terrible as far as filler and shit goes, but yeah. Um, to be fair, though, I never finished Bleach either. Between the, the sheer amount of filler and just uh, once I heard that they never finished the anime, I was just kind of like, meh. Then what's the point of finishing the show? What's straight? Yeah, I did. I did like Bleach, but no, I never did get around to finishing it. I do want to one of these days. I think I've never watched all of Naruto. You've watched notable fights on YouTube. That's. I mean, I've seen some clips, and some of the clips are interesting and whatnot. But at least the first like what hundred and thirty episodes or whatever that I watched Naruto, it just never grabbed me. Everything was just too slow. Um for me to get into. I just can't do it. I'm having some problems here in the Disopla mine. A pack of Nyx hounds were attacking my miners. We thought one of the miners was lost at first, but she turned up safe. Our healer, Terrace Arathen, went down to look for her and hasn't come back. When Would you go down... <laughs> Words, man. Would you go down into the mines and bring back Terrace Arathen if he is still alive? I would go myself, but I should stay here to protect the miners if the Nyx hounds come back this way. Yeah, tell me more about him. A pack of them is loose. That's... <laughs> Okay, that's good info. Thank you. That's, I guess that's all we need to know. Would you consider it stealing? Okay, apparently there's some weird pathing stuff there. You would consider it stealing if I picked up that glass, so... That's fine. We'll ignore the glass, I guess. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. Do you want something? Is this how glass used to be collected? Like before Spit people knew how to make glass? Room. Did they just find it naturally in the in the world and then just mine it without breaking it somehow? That was a weird sound. Oh, hi. I thought you guys were going to be a little bit farther from all of the like people. There's, like, a dude right here. But I guess not. You're not, like, the dude they've been looking for, are you? You are. Uh, let's travel together back to the mine entrance. Yeah, sure. I guess. Follow me. Gotta keep my eye on him, man. The, the, the companion pathfinding is so bad in this game. You get like more than five steps ahead of people. They seem to just break. Say what you want or go. That you? No. Still here? You're still here. Keep coming. Watch all of all of Naruto. You haven't finished Shippuden. Also watched all the Bleach. Didn't get to watch the new Bleach yet. I am curious how the new Bleach is. Speak, traveler. Is it you? It was you. Thank you for rescuing Terrace oh, then I don't have anything to offer you except this raw glass, of course. Or raw glass have been added. Um, clean out the rest of the next sounds on our own. So is, is that all I had to do then? Told me that the mine has been having problems with a pack of Nick sounds, and one of the miners is missing. Must find. Yeah. I guess that's all we had to do. I mean, we might as well go ahead and explore the rest of the mine on our own, but that was a super easy Fighter's Guild quest, man. Like, incredibly easy. Opinion Pathfinding is terrible in Elder Scrolls in general. 
I feel like it's not that bad in Skyrim. It's not great by any means, but it's not that bad either. And at least in Skyrim, you can just, like, wait somewhere and they'll catch back up with you, you know? They'll just teleport to you or whatever. In this game, they'll just stay stuck in some random place in the world map. So if you're not paying attention, you just have to, like... You'll get to where you're going, and then you'll have to turn around and backtrack until you find them. Get them unstuck from wherever they were, and then slowly walk them to wherever you're going. It's it's just not good. <laughs> the game definitely shows its age in a lot of different ways. I really hope there's something at the end of this mine. Oh, it just loops around. Okay. Whatever well. you're looking for, I'm sure I don't know how to find it. Well, shit. That was an incredibly easy quest. The easiest, or the hardest part about the quest was finding the place. I guess maybe that's why they didn't mark it on the map, because <laughs> if they did, it would have been stupidly simple. Um. Now the most annoying part, running back. Wait, did that quick save? Um, did that time. Oblivion had a bad issue with that too. Skyrim is slightly better. Yeah, like I said, the pathfinding itself isn't great in Skyrim, but you can wait to fix it. Which I'm pretty sure is how it works in Fallout 3 as well, right? Fallout 3 is the oldest Elder, Elder Scrolls. Oh boy. Eldest Beth Bethesda game that I really like played played. So as far as like how things work in Oblivion or Morrowind, I guess, I'm uh, a lot less familiar with it than I am Fallout 3 or newer games. Always dreaded when you had a quest with a follower. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> to be clear, I hate followers in general in Bethesda games. <laughs> I'll usually take a pet. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been playing a little bit of Skyrim in my own time. Um, so what happened, right? I finished Dragon Ball Z Budokai, and I have a list of games that I'm currently playing. And, uh, I sent that list to a friend, and before I even finished typing out the list, they were like, Skyrim, as, as the next game that I should beat. And I was like, okay, well, if that's the one that you really want to pick, I will, but here's all the other ones anyways. And they were still like, no, Skyrim. <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. So, I'm gonna try to beat Skyrim. That's the only reason why I'm playing it right now. I should have just left it on the list, but it's too late. So I've been playing a little bit of it, and uh, I have the, the Dwemer mud crab thing, the little, like, robot mud crab <laughs> as my pet following me around. And that's probably the only follower I'll ever have, unless a quest requires otherwise, because <laughs> I just don't really care for it. And then same in, like, the Fallout games, I'll usually have dog meat run around with me, but not the people. I hate the people. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas and to a lesser degree Fallout 4, the companions have a use wherein like you can do a quest that's exclusive to, to the followers, but other than that, I still don't don't care about the followers at all. The only thing that I enjoy about followers is that they can carry stuff for me. But so can the pets in Bethesda games. Not as much usually, but they can carry some stuff. Like in Skyrim, I just have them carrying all of my food because I am playing survival rules. Uh, lighter survival rules than this. Like I'm still cheesing combat with potions and shit and saving anywhere I want. But, you know, um, survival though. Anyways, so I have it carrying like all of my food and like my pickaxe so that I can do stuff. What's my Sk Skyrim build? Um, I haven't decided on like anything... I'm trying to think of how to word it. I'm leaving room to change things if I want, but uh, sword and board is more or less what I'm going for. Just kind of classic, you know? Sword, shield, and then uh, restoration magic for whenever I want to do that. Um, because of some of the mods that I'm using, there are high level creatures in dungeons every once in a while. So I am doing a little bit of stealth archer because 
it's just the only way to deal with some of the enemies in the game, but like... <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to focus on, on sh Sword and Board. Vampire Follower is really good. I don't think I ever met, got any of the... Uh, mess with any of the vampire stuff. Not that I can remember, at least. I did a lot of the... Uh, werewolf stuff, but of course, like, that's super early in the game, so no surprise there. Um, I don't think I ever even contracted vampirism in Skyrim, surprisingly. Not that I can remember. Alteration skill tree for cheese? I don't know. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I know, I know that it can be good. I was, I was, I don't know if I've ever messed with it that much. I had one playthrough. I never finished the game where I was exclusively using magic, mostly destruction magic with a little bit of uh, necromancy. I don't remember the actual school. It's probably alteration um, with a little bit of that. But Skyrim magic in the early game kind of sucks, man. You die so easily. <laughs> like, got to go do the Dawnguard side quests. Yeah, I do have all of the DLC, of course. I have the Legendary Edition that comes with the, um, all of, like, the extra content, micro DLC stuff and whatnot. But, or no, no, it wouldn't be Alteration, Conjuration. That's the one that lets you... I'm terrible at schools of magic. That's the one that lets you like summon creatures, right? Yeah, no, alteration. I've seen the exploits. You can also do it with like a uh, potion crafting and smithing and stuff like that too, right? Cause you just uh, down a potion or use a spell to increase your smithing skill. And then you smith something and then, or no, I'm thinking of enchanting and smithing, I think is what I'm thinking of. Because you enchant the ability to do better smithing. And then... Or is it enchanting and potion making? Maybe it's enchanting and potion making. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Look, I, I've, my brain hardly works in general. And how sick I am right now is not helping anything. Mixing that with like being tired and all that shit. But I, I've seen some of the cheese that you can do. With just like using potions, enchanting, whatever, to increase a skill, and then using that skill to increase the other, and then just going back and forth. I know how broken that can get very quickly. No perks, no shouts, all magicka. That sounds absolutely awful. <laughs> Welcome, Mushini, to chat, by the way, man. It's good to have you here. But that sounds literally horrible. <laughs> like, like an absolute terrible time. <laughs> I guess, like. As a challenge run, it would be interesting, but like, oof, no. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's one I would ever want to do. If it was no perks, no shouts, without the all magicka, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'd be willing to give that sort of thing a try. But <laughs> once you're locked into like just basic ass magic using, mm, no, <laughs> it doesn't help that whenever I was doing the uh, destruction magic run, all magic run that I was doing, I was also playing on legendary difficulty. I ended up after, I think it was uh, the first real dungeon. If you're following like the main quest line, I forget the name of it, but where you go and get the tablet for the dude. Um, before you unlock dragons and whatnot. I think it was that dungeon when I was fighting the Draugr that one of them took like 25 minutes or something like that to kill. And I was just like, no, this is <laughs> this is not happening. I'm not spending this long to kill one basic ass enemy. And uh, decided to take the difficulty down a, a notch or two. But yeah, I only ended up making it to level like... I don't remember, 10 or something like that in that playthrough. I didn't get too far, sadly. It's not that I wasn't having fun once I turned the difficulty down a couple of notches. Things got a little bit better. And I was having a lot of fun with it, but as so often happens with me in Skyrim, other things in life just end up getting in the way. And then I uh, kind of forget about it for months or so. <laughs> yeah. Unarmed legendary run? 
That sounds better, honestly. That sounds better to me than a pure Magicka run. I just, oh, uh, I know Magic gets a lot better, but the early game Magic has twisted my mind into just hating it so much. Like, so you shouts because Mark for death, yeah, 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 yeah. That's my eventual goal once I get through all of these uh, Bethesda games. Actually beating them, because as of now, the only ones I've beaten are Fallout 3 and uh, New Vegas, if you consider that a Bethesda game. So <laughs> once I get around to beating them all, I want to do like permadeath runs and challenge runs and stuff like that. I think that would be a lot of fun. Oh, this is a fishing pole. Oh, I, I don't know why I keep thinking the fishing pole is my Daedric Tonto. Like... I have no stamina. It's making things a lot harder. There we go. Didn't really want that weed, but now I got the weed. In the current playthrough I'm doing, I'm um, Red Guard, Sword and Board. Um, I use the uh, New Life or whatever the hell the mod's called. And the Alakir storyline so I, I mean it just spawns you in a different area with different starting equipment that's all and I'm playing through the game more naturally I'm not like rushing to the main quest or anything like that um so I'm currently in what is it the northeastern side of the map the city Mar Mar Marketh and I'm terrible my memory's absolute garbage but the last thing I did was clear out the uh, Dwemer ruins in there mostly cleared out the the uh, mod that i'm using that adds more creatures spawns a boss in that area that is uh at my current level impossible to beat without cheese mark Hearth, thank you yeah that's it um so i tried to cheese it a couple of times wasn't able to successfully do it so i ended up just giving up and uh ran the hell out of there basically and just left him behind <laughs> and just called it a day like don't have to kill that boss it's fine he's not necessary for the for the uh the quest to finish for clearing it out so just ran the hell out of there and turned it in although i uh did get the note from the courier saying that i should come to wherever it is again terrible with white run it's white run right the like main city of the game the first one that you're meant to visit i did get a note from a courier telling me to come there and start the main quest line so once i finish up all the side quests that i've already agreed to that's probably where i'll be heading next starting the main quest line for the game was this like an open market open air market yeah do you guys have money Barter. 800 gold. That's not terrible, actually. Will you... How much will you give me for Orcish Ripe Pauldrons? 504. You know what? I'll sell you two for the low, low price of all of your money. Unless... I take it back. I'll take your hammers. That you're massively overcharging me for, but whatever. And then all your gold. Goodbye. Whoa! Raider Bonewalker? Quickly, Outlander. I have a much time, Commander, but make it quick. What are you guys? <laughs> um. Also, I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> what is? Did somebody summon them? I'm just gonna ignore them and uh, we'll move on to the next stop here. It's fine. Hello. <laughs> on your platinum run, you ended up doing everything but killing a legendary dragon. They only spawned after level 78, so you had to cheese because you were not grinding 16 levels without quests. Fair. How did you... How did you do everything in the game? Without hitting level 78, man. <laughs> that's what I want to know. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. The uh, last real attempt I made at playing through Skyrim, I made it up to level like 50 something. I forget exactly what it was. 
but I just screwed around a lot. I hardly made it into the main storyline. Went and did the DLC that brings you to Morrowind. Completed it, like, everything that I could find to do. Um, which is where the majority of the levels came from. And then went back to the mainland, played for a little bit longer. And then again, things happened, kind of forgot about it. And then just never got around to doing it again or getting back into it. That's how most of my uh, Skyrim runs have died, sadly. <laughs> Started killing everything in every hold after quest. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> oh my god. 470 is pretty decent. Uh, do we have any, like, garbage? There you go. That's close enough to all your money. Deal. Goodbye. I playing Requiem, but you gave up after if mods broke your playthrough. It was hard. Too much time. Requiem. What is Requiem? Why does it sound? It sounds familiar, but brain's not working. Hold on. A Plague Tale Requiem? Is that it? Oh, it's a mod. One of the mods for Skyrim's. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know that one off the top of my head. I use mods, but not usually like massive gameplay change mods. It's mostly quality of life. The only like gameplay stuff I add is to the new life mod um, because I've done the beginning of the game way too many times. Um, souls for perks because at some point all the dragon souls become useless, you know, once you collect so many of them. So it's nice to just be able to use them for something. And... Uh, Shit, I can't remember the name of it, but the one that adds, like, creatures to the game. Just more spawns and, like, spawns actual, like, unscaled bosses and shit like that. Just interesting things like that, but I can't remember the name of it. But that's pretty much it for, like, gameplay changing mods that I use outside of the stuff that's included with Legendary. Because that has, like, survival mode and shit, so that's somewhat game changing. I think you paired it with a new life. I love a new life. I think it's a great mod. Absolutely fantastic. Don't believe I've seen an orc with such a grand outfit in some time. Is he saying that because of like the actual clothes that we're wearing? So we don't have anything like expensive, like the expensive clothes you know, equip, but we do have some pretty decent armor equip. Like the Devil Cephalopod helm and the Savior's hide here and shit. I wonder if that like triggered a different uh line form. Will you buy that? You will. Oh, almost perfect too for five hundred and one. Um yeah, you don't have anything I'm interested in. So I'll just five hundred, take all your gold. Please thank and goodbye. I agree. This is pretty unusual what's going on here right now, but we're just going to move on with our life. Uh, okay, we are actually going the wrong direction. We want to go this way. There it is. Wolverine Hall. We're trying to get back to the Fighter's Guild. Complete our quest. We want to go on to the next one. Although, if you're another shopkeep, which you appear to be, 800 gold, very nice. You can buy an orcish helm. You give terrible prices, though. Holy shit, do you dislike me? Not particularly. Kind of more or less the same as everyone else, honestly. Whatever, here's two orcish helms. Do you have anything I want? No? Okay. Then I'll just take your gold. You can turn that around so for a massive want? profit. Question of the get, <laughs> Bruh, I can't. <laughs> I'm so out of it right now, man. What time is it? We're probably gonna end around three o'clock my time tonight because I, I don't think I can go much longer. What's the strangest food combination you've ever tried and did you actually enjoy it? Um... I actually have a couple. I've tried some weird things over the years. When I was younger, I put hot sauce on everything. 
I still really enjoy hot sauce. I should say specifically Frank's Red Hot hot sauce because there's a bunch of different kinds of hot sauces. Um, I still use it a lot, but not nearly as bad as I was when I was younger. And uh, I used to literally put that shit on everything, right? So one day I was making a bowl of ice cream. Making a bowl. I had a bowl of ice cream. And I got curious. How would Frank's Red Hot hot sauce taste on ice cream? Uh, so I got the answer. Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrid. If it was like just a hot hot sauce and not a um, vinegar hot sauce, you know, very vinegary hot sauce, I think it probably would have been okay. Um, but because it was Frank's, it was Anytime. not a good time. Absolutely terrible. What ice cream? I know it was vanilla base, but I don't remember if it was like straight vanilla or if there was anything else in it. I, I'm i a big fan of chocolate chip cookie dough, so there's a good chance it was chocolate chip cookie dough, but I don't remember for sure that part. Um, but yeah, would not recommend Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce and ice cream. Uh, that's the first one. I have three different ones that I want to, uh, or that I, that I can mention. KFC hot sauce is still at the top of my list. I don't think I've ever tried it, to be honest with you. But I'm more than happy to. <laughs> Next time I go to KFC, I'll make sure to ask them for some hot sauce to put on my chicken. Um, I don't go to KFC very often, though. Although, Noodle and I have been enjoying their KFC, the bowls, whatever they're called. Um, probably they've been pretty good lately. We've been making some of our own at home lately, too. But for the price, like $5 a bowl, it's pretty good. Uh, the other one was, there's this energy drink called Cocaine. And uh, I'm bringing it up specifically because when I say I put cocaine in my food, I just want people to know it's the energy drink cocaine and not the, the powder, the illicit substance. Um, so I was cooking one day. I used to have a bad caffeine habit. And I was cooking some stir fry with uh, noodles. And I decided to dump like half a can of cocaine and it cocaine the energy drink in my my stir fry and noodles and then like fried it up a little bit which probably deactivated most of the caffeine but besides the point i just thought you know some caffeine in my food would be a good idea and that ended up being surprisingly fucking good <laughs> like that was delicious the cocaine energy drink is like a sweet with some cinnamon and I don't know like the actual recipe for it, but supposedly it's like cherry, cinnamon, and some wasabi to add like some extra burn, right? Or maybe not straight wasabi, but whatever that, uh, is, is it Allison? That might be the one that's in garlic, but one of those chemicals that, that burn, you know, the one that's in wasabi, that um, is apparently like the main flavorings for that energy drink. And uh, that was really good in there uh 10 out of 10 definitely would do that again if i consumed caffeine anymore lastly one that i've done recently i was sitting at the uh in the break room at work with a couple of friends of mine and for lunch i usually take a sandwich and then a vegetable with some ranch because you gotta have something to dip your vegetable in and then sometimes i'll have some fruit and in this case i had strawberries and uh, it was quiet, kind of boring. So I was just like, have you ever just dipped your strawberries in ranch? And everybody just kind of looked at me and I was like, no, okay, well, whatever. And then I dipped my strawberry in ranch and bit it, expecting it to be disgusting, but it ended up being fine. <laughs> like it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. You know, it just, it just was. Honestly, the ranch, because strawberries are juicy, the ranch just kind of washed away super quick. And then you were just left with the flavor uh strawberry so like it was just it was nothing so there you go that's my my bad my good and my uh my whatever my medium ones like <laughs> shit you do for laws you got to keep things interesting man you get bored otherwise you know i've done a lot of weird food pairings in my life though so i have more but those were the three that popped out at me so <laughs> Chocobo, not a food pioneer. I know Noodle's not much of a food pioneer, but what about you, Nate? Have you ever had any weird uh, food pairings that were good or no? Sounds like everything went well. Here's your share of the contract. Well, thank you, my guy. Do you have any more? 
Creature loose in Berwyn, the trader shop, and Telmora. There's 200 septums for whoever takes care of this corpus stalker. It's also a contract for an outlaw nearby. Another 200 septums for whoever brings Rel's Tenum to justice. Okay, corpus stalker. Berwyn, the trader shop, last I heard. I need to pull up my notes. Um... Because if we don't get to doing this this week, depending on what kind of notes it has in game. For the quest, I'm going to completely forget where <clears throat> we're going and all that. Uh, tell Mora. Corpus. Oh, that's not how you spell Corpus. Corpus Stalker. At Berwyn the Traders. Okay. And then we also have Rouse Tenum. He's a murderer who has escaped from justice. He was last seen near Voss. Um, okay. So kill Rouse Tenum in Voss. Or last seen. In Voss, at least. Okay. Good to know. I had plenty, but can't think of any off the top of your head? Bruh. <laughs> what a cop-out. You were dipping broccoli and ranch before eating pizza with ranch? That was a good new experience. I love broccoli and ranch, man. <laughs> I'm... I feel like I'm a little weird where I actually prefer cooked broccoli to raw broccoli. Um, but when I do eat raw broccoli, definitely ranch. And pizza and ranch, 100%, man. I almost never eat pizza without ranch. Like, <laughs> I love pizza and ranch. That's a good combo, too. Go back here, because I want to take a rest. 6 p.m., we'll sleep for 12 hours. Thank you, game. Uh, Take a drink, because we're definitely thirsty. Eat some food, because we're definitely hungry. There we go. Oh, and save. Need to do that too. So what? Before we forget, because I will. Broccoli and ranch to the combo. That's what I ate as a little kid, bruh. It's so good. <laughs> Noodle's weird, in my opinion. At Mr. Noodle, that's here. Um, she doesn't like cheese and broccoli together. She doesn't really like cooked broccoli in general. But like, I love the flavor, like cheese and broccoli soup, or like cheesy rice with broccoli or anything like that. Like, bruh, that shit's so good. Also, why am I having such a hard time finding my way out? We were literally just outside. Noodle also prefers cauliflower to broccoli, though, which I just do not understand at all. Like, cauliflower's fine, but that's it. Like, it's literally just fine, you know? <laughs> like, it's food, but meh. <laughs> tell Mora, tell Mora, tell Mora. I know Telmora's around here. Well, there's Voss. Oh, okay, so they're right next to each other. I guess that's why he gave us, like, both of them together. I really wish they had freaking bridges or something around here, man. <laughs> like, holy hell. Worcestershire vinegar and ketchup on fries? I do vinegar and ketchup on my fries all the time. I've never tried it with Worcestershire, but... I feel like that'd probably be okay. That's basically, like, a poor man's barbecue sauce. Vinegar, ketchup, and Worcestershire. You throw a little bit of, like, brown sugar or molasses or something in there. Heat that mixture up a little bit. And then there you go. You got... You got barbecue sauce. So, I feel like that would be fine. Honestly. Am I going to be much longer? now? I'm probably only going to play till 3. Another, like, 10-15 minutes. Um, because I'm... I'm pretty exhausted. My brain is not working very well. And, uh, yeah, no. So wait for a shower? It's up to you. If you want to, uh... If you want to wait, you can. If not, then go ahead. Love your fun. Either way. Nacho cheese and Franks on fries? That sounds absolutely Sorry, stranger, delicious. My time is short, so get on cheese on fries, obviously good. Franks red hot on fries, also wonderful. Mix the two together? I'm down. I'm game for that. Pickle hard-boiled eggs and hot cauliflower juice. I go wild for that. I'm not a huge pickled egg person, but 
I've only ever had pickled eggs the way they do them, like, where I'm from, which is, uh, like, pickled beets, like, in, in beet juice and vinegar or whatever, you know? Like, <laughs> which I, I don't care for that. I can eat it, but I am not a fan. It's not the sort of thing I would ever make for myself. It's just, I kind of gross to me. But in hot cauliflower juice, I would try that. I like I like pickled cauliflower. Pickled cauliflower is pretty good. Um, but yeah, never had eggs pickled in hot cauliflower juice. <laughs> Sorry, it's just uh, I've never even heard of such a thing. But it's sounds decent, honestly. Nina? Nope. My time is precious, so make it quick. We've apparently been here before, but I do not... Oh, wait. Wait, you're Berwin. Aha! Okay, hold on. I'll be back, Berwin. Give me just a moment. Hello, Corpus Stalker. Oh, you have it, like, literally trapped up here. <laughs> you have it? Are you here to get rid of the Corpus Stalker? Stalker? I am. We're able to trap it upstairs, but no one wants to risk disease by getting close to it. Normally, Master Arian would take care of it, but he's been so busy recently. Please hurry, it's wrecking my shop. Why don't you just, like, grab a bow and arrow? Hold on, can I, like, barter? No, okay. It's like, you look like you sell weapons. Do you not have a bow and arrow? You could just stand on the other side of the room here and shoot the thing, but... Whatever. <laughs> Fine. I'll deal with it. Can I reach it from over here? It can reach me. Yeah, okay. Chocolate icing on white bread. I'm calling the fucking cause. I honestly, I don't think that sounds too bad. I would toast it first. Because, I mean, people eat, like, Nutella on toast, you know? And Nutella is basically just frosting. Like, cake frosting, man. There's more sugar in Nutella than there is most cake frostings. Like, which is wild. Um, so honestly, I don't think that would be too bad. I'd eat that too. Uh, okay. I've gotten rid of the stalker. Thanks for dispatching that stalker. You obviously have great skill. I mean, I'm pretty amazing, but, uh, I try not to talk about it too much, you know? <laughs> Stormhelm. Uh, this game really needs item filtering outside of just text. Uh, or like sorting even. I don't think you have anything I care for. How much wick wheat do I have? I have 85 marshmallow. I only have 19 salt trees, though. So I'm going to buy all your salt trees. Oh, should I sell the wick wheat? No, okay, it's right there. So yeah, now I'll sell you that, or buy that, and then sell you... You have 600 gold an orcish helm for way too much loss on my part but whatever it's fine i'll buy a fork <laughs> no i'm not 600 okay deal goodbye you're welcome for helping out lady catch up with cheese curds i've never tried that chocolate and hazelnut is good nutella is goof <laughs> noodle are you okay Jesus Christ, you are struggling. Were you <laughs> were you drinking when I wasn't looking? Like I <laughs> My god, love. Now where did I Nutella is goof. I've never had Nutella. Really uh yeah, I mean it, it literally is just like It's peanut butter but made with like hazelnuts or whatever. Instead of like peanuts and then a shit ton of sugar and some chocolate. So if you're into that sort of thing then whatever. Nate was told he couldn't eat the icing by itself anymore, so you took that personally. <laughs> icing is way too sweet for me to just, like, want to eat a spoonful of it, but to each their own, my guy. As long as you're enjoying yourself. You're tired? I can tell, love. Like I said, you don't have to wait. If you want to go ahead and get your shower, by all means, I won't take it personally if you decide to, like, go. Um... Or what, 200 a piece normally? Okay, five's too many, so four. Wait, which would just be one now. There we go. Oh, do you have any health potions, though? We have a fair bit on us, but... 
Uh, bargain. No. Do you have any other, like, not bargain? Just any other standard or quality stuff that I care about? Reflection's not bad. Shadow's not bad. Invisibility. I more want, like, levitate, honestly. Water walking's handy sometimes, but it just helps us get around a little bit faster. Oh, shit. I don't know what I just clicked on. Dispel. I don't care about Dispel right now. Your Paralyzation might be decent. Okay. We'll call that good. Uh, you can have another piece of glass now. There you go. 391. Looks good. Goodbye. Could do a spoon of icing if it's frozen. I've never tried it frozen. That might not be too bad. That just sounds like ice cream, but not. <laughs> Which isn't terrible. Bacon cake? I've never had bacon cake, but I have had like bacon and ice cream. I forget when it was. It was probably like 10 years ago or something like that. But Burger King used to sell a uh, bacon milkshake. I tried that and that wasn't too bad. Made a pancake cake before that had bacon in it. So do you mean like you took cake batter and then fried it in a pan? For pancake cake? Because that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Honestly, I would do that. Cure poison on self. That could come in handy. I forgot we have this divine intervention amulet. So we don't need the intervention scrolls. Oh, you don't buy scrolls. Well, okay. I only have 750 gold. Um, This ring of healing sucks. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. You don't buy that either. Well, okay. Guess we'll buy the master armors, hammers, and then just eat the loss on the rest. What's our... Bro, <laughs> uh, we're still carrying around 385 pounds of crap. It's ridiculous. Hurry this up, will you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's so not fried in a pan, just using a, a very wide pan. I got you. I mean, that still sounds good. <laughs> I like homemade cake. I'm not a big fan of like store-bought cakes, but I'm a big fan of homemade cakes. So, I'd eat it. You're just a clothier. Uh, what are you? The Covenant? Is this... What is the Covenant? You train? Oh, are you some sort of like... Thieves Guild or something? Uh, can you train me in block? No. I'll take some Too sneak training. Be going now. Just because I want to... Increase my agility multiplier. Not so much because we actually sneak all that often. It's already up to times three. I think that'll be good enough. Well, actually, hold on. What's the... For medium armor? Endurance? Because I was just saying how it would be nice to get some more endurance points too. And we have a shit ton of gold, so... What was that? So if I could get endurance up to times three as well, that'd be pretty sick. Endurance is up to times two. What do I have? I still have 9,000 gold. Endurance is up to times three. Perfect. Oh, taco sauce and mac and cheese? That doesn't sound bad. I could do taco sauce and mac and cheese. I mean, I'm one of those people that I don't do it anymore, but when I was younger, would put taco or not taco sauce, would put like ketchup on my mac and cheese. So I feel like taco sauce isn't too far off. Just like a, a spicier tomato based sauce. So okay for you, but you make cake like every week and that's your sweets ration. Well, I mean, that's better than like the five pounds of candy you used to eat every couple of days. Right? Like eating a cake once a week. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm a pie person. Like, I'll... If I have the money to buy a pie, I'm probably eating a slice of pie every day. 
Oh shit, I didn't realize how thirsty we were in game. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Water jug. Water jug. There you go, that should deal with our thirst. Also apparently hungry. I feel like we just ate and drank, but I guess training costs time now that I think about it, so. Water catcher. That's how it happened. You were out of ketchup for your mac and cheese. Fair. Mix pork and beans with mac and cheese, so I guess that's your food pioneering. I don't like canned beans, like pork and beans and stuff like that. I do like beans. Wait. Was that Voss we were just in? No, Voss is on this side of the map. Or on this side of the water. Huh? Where? What? Where is Voss? Oh, is it you? Dorian Andrade 56. <laughs> Hello, sir. Is it one of you? No. Rel's Tenum is who I'm looking for. Neither of you guys. You're just random dudes that decide you want to die. Fair enough. What race? Orc. <laughs> it was picked by chat. My, <laughs> It's not a good build that we have going on at all. It's a... Uh... Orc Rogue. <laughs> it's bad, but it is what it is, you know? <laughs> We're enjoying ourselves, that's all that matters. <laughs> so this must be Voss. Okay, so we're looking for Rel's Tenum over here somewhere. Weird that the trade house would be locked. I'm thinking he might be locked up in the trade house. I don't know that to be true, but it's like the middle of the day. Why would the trade house be locked? Oh, oh that was like a back door. That's why. Okay, never mind. Not that weird. Have a good night, Chocobo. Are you using mods? I am. Um, nothing insane, I don't feel like, but there is a couple, uh, exclamation mark mods. We'll bring up a link to a page that I have with the different mods. It's, uh, I'm also playing on open Morrowind, not standard Morrowind, in case that wasn't already obvious. Um, so there's some changes because of that too, of course. The biggest difference is, uh... Like survival stuff Sorry, as far as having to eat and drink short, so and uh, like getting cold when outside and weakness to shock whenever I'm wet, etc, etc. Things like that. Oh, I do also have, what's it called, Tamriel Unlimited or whatever installed, but we probably won't end up exploring much of uh, what's been added from the mod because... I don't really have any reason to. I've never even beaten the game before <laughs> going over there and doing all of that extra crap. Seems like not the best idea right now. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how the actual game works, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, this place is bigger than I expected. Who's angry at me now? Why is it like every time I go outside, there's just somebody randomly angry at me? but I can never see where they are, or who they are even. Oh, we're in the Grazelands now? I'm assuming this is Voss, right? Yeah, okay. I guess I just need to get back inside the gates. Zooming on map and open more one thing? I have no idea because I've hardly ever played regular Morrowind. <laughs> I thought it was a normal thing that Morrowind have, but I'm not sure to be honest with you. Um, I, I played the base game Morrowind for a little bit, um, but it ended up being a little too unstable for me. So I switched to open Morrowind very early on and then never, never went back. <laughs> Farmhouse.
else. I don't suppose you can tell me where a person is, can you? Yeah, Rel's Tenum. He's a bandit. He stole some guar and some crops. And I don't know what else. I don't know where he is now, but the Amusa um, might know. Check the Amusa um, camp north of here. Okay, well, that's a, that's a lead. I will take it. Thank you. Before we do that, though, are there any more shops around here? Hey, thank you for the follow, thank Dorian. You, I appreciate that, man. Andrade 56 for following. I don't suppose, like, the guard would know where he is, would he? Thief and outlaw, he's stolen from some of the farmers. Check with some of the farmers. I'm sure they'll know something. Okay, so we pretty much already got all the info we can about the Stop guy here. Traveler. Is there... Any more trade houses or anything around here? I forgot to actually talk to the trader when we were in uh, at the trade house. That would have been smart. I'm waiting. Got a chapel. The chapel probably doesn't buy anything though. Let's just go up to the camp. I'm sure it'll be fine. Why are you chilling out here, my guy? Hmm. I will listen. What is this? I'm getting sidetracked. Tell Voss. Is this like Voss proper and then, then that's just where all the farmers and shit live? Interesting. Hmm, okay. Okay, I, I need to stop screwing around. I'm supposed to be getting off now. Noodle's waiting on me downstairs. Uh, Let's get to the camp, and then once we get to the camp, we'll set up our own camp. Sleep so that I can save per my own rules, and then, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for us tonight. The camp's just right up here, though, so that shouldn't take long. Ow. You must be diseased. You're definitely diseased. Yep. Too strong not to be. What are you? Is that like some sort of troll or something? What is that thing over there? Are you mean? Do I need to be scared of you? You're a dick. Just die, dude. Come on, just just hit him. God. <laughs> uh, are we running low on food? We still have 15. We're fine. Okay, what are you? Are you, like, super dangerous? You're coming for me, whatever you are. Okay, you have some amount of health. It's not a ridiculous amount, but... I mean, if I can not get hit by you, though, I'll gladly... Oh. I like I like your nipple piercing, dude. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're not that bad. We can, we can deal with you. You're healing health, though, I've noticed. An ogrim. So some sort of, like, Daedric ogre? It's fancy. Okay. That must be the camp. Is it? Is it a bandit camp? I don't remember. We'll probably just make camp ourselves before we get too close, just in case it is a bandit camp and everybody just starts getting mad at us. Just clear out all of these things so they don't attack us in our sleep tonight. Um, uh, you know what? We'll take your stuff. We'll leave your corpses so you don't respawn. And then right here between these rocks. Seems like a pretty decent place to make camp. Oh, there we go. Sleep. Sleeping here is illegal. Um, okay. I guess we're too close to the camp. Yeah, I can see up there in the corner, actually. We're still technically in the camp, huh? There you go. Now we're in the Azura Coast, so we should be able to sleep here. Feels a little weird making camp right outside of this 
mine? Yeah, mine, but whatever. I'm sure they won't mind. The miners probably have done it more than once. Can't be the only one that's ever just slept outside here. It's 4 p.m. Um, 12 hours of rest seems more than sufficient. Pick up camp. Eat and drink. So we don't forget next time. Save, and that is where we're going to call it this week, guys. Um, if you weren't here earlier, I am going to be more or less off next week because of my birthday. I will still probably be streaming on some random days, but most likely not at my normal times or whatever, and probably not the normal stuff I stream, just whatever random thing I feel like playing. But the week after next, we'll be back to just our normal schedule. Morrowind on Sundays, uh, PS2 games a couple times a week as I'm playing through the entire collection of PS2 stuff, or trying the entire collection of PS2 stuff, rather. Uh, Baldur's Gate with my brother, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, <laughs> hope to see you guys next week on whatever random times I play things and uh, <laughs> after that for our regular schedule. Thank you guys for coming out. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. Oh, I'm kind of stuck in game here. Ah, there we go. Bye. <laughs> okay, now that's, that's, that's pretty normal. Supercharge makes your next hit a counter hit. Oh. Interesting. So that's grapple. That's get on your pogo stick. Uh, triangle X. Triangle X doesn't seem to be anything. Just just that combo move. If you if you press them quickly, but if you press them at the same time, it doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, square and circle. Nothing. Square and X. Is that another grapple? That looks like another grapple. It is. Okay. I'm gonna remember like none of this whenever we get back into a normal fight. Samurai Cutter? So, okay. Oh! That is Disco Stick. <laughs> I can get that one so much easier than I can get the fucking... Don't ride it. <laughs> you want to take a ride on his disco stick? Okay, so is there any other, like, important combos that I need to learn with him before I, uh... Maybe? Uh, not from here, at least. I don't know. You might be able to in the normal, uh... In the normal game, but it doesn't look like you can from here. And that just changes characters. Okay. 